Assalamu alaikum dear students in the series of learning C programming we are discussing file handling in C in today's video we are going to discuss one more mode that is the R plus mode in file handling in previous videos we have discussed what is R mode what is W mode and what is A mode now our today's topic is R plus mode in order to understand fully what is R plus mode we must know what is R mode we know that R, R means read, that means we can only open this file in read mode. Whenever we want, we want to read the contents of the file, at that time we open that file in the R mode. That means we cannot write at that time, we cannot write anything on the file. If we open the file in R mode, we can only read the contents of the file at that time. But if we want both open, read and write the content at the same time, uh, so at that time we, we should open the file in the R plus mode. So in order R plus what R plus mode does? R plus if we open the file in R plus mode, that means we can read and write. We can read as well as write to the file. We can read from the file, contents of the file, and we can read something to the file. That means R plus mode is used for both reading and writing to the file. The main difference between the R mode and R plus mode. In R mode, we can only read the contents of the file. We can only read the file. But in R plus mode, we can read as well as write. That means R plus mode is used for both reading and writing. Reading from the file and writing into the file. Now, this is the main difference between R and R plus mode. So, let us... Try to understand this with the help of example. For example, man. And first, obviously, I have to take a file pointer because we can only access the file by using the file pointers. We, we have already discussed how to create a file pointer in the previous videos. File pointer PTR. And initially, initialize it. Now, now, App open. For example, this is a hard disk, and it has a file abc dot text, which already exists in that file. App open. It it will take two arguments. First is the file name that is the abc dot text, and second is the in which mode I want to open that file. In this case, I want to open this file in an R plus mode. That is it. And it will return the file pointer. Uh, PTR, sorry. PTR. PTR, the file pointer. What will happen by this is, for example, this is our RAM and this is our hard disk. Obviously, some memory will be allocated for this in the RAM, for this file in the RAM. In the RAM. For example, this is our buffer, buffer memory is located for this RAM. It will take, it will uh, load the copy of this abc.txt into the RAM because we know that every operation, if we want to take any operation, if we want to perform any operation on the file, first of all, that file must be loaded into the main memory. We cannot, we cannot, uh, we cannot perform any operation on the file directly in the hard disk. We have to load those content, those files, copy of those files into the main memory. So, first of all, what will happen? This file will open the abc.txt in the R plus mode and will return the pointer. For example, this is the pointer ptr and this is the file type object, file object, file type object, and this is a buffer. It will load the contents up here, which will contain address. And now this pointer, for example, the file, this buffer will contain the address of this file, PTR. By using this PTR, we can access this abc.txt. For example, if due to some reasons, if due to some reasons, this app open function fails to load the contents of this file to here. Yeah, or if the file does not exist in hard disk. These are the cases. 
then this R plus mode will not create the file. Will not create the file. It will simply show if, for example, if PTR equal to equal to null. That means if there this PT this app open file fails to load the contents of this file, fails to load the copy of this abc.txt into the main memory due to some reasons. Or if this file does not exist in the hard disk, then what will happen? It will not return, it will not return the address, it will not return the address to the pointer. So the pointer, what pointer contains? The pointer contains the null. If pointer is equal to the null, we have to check first with in order to perform op any operation on the files, files, first of all we have to check, we have to open the file, we have to check whether the file has been opened successfully or not. For that, if PTR is null, if PTR contains null, then we know that file has, has not been opened successfully. That means, uh, we can see the copy of this file has not been loaded into the main memory successfully. So, we, the message will be printed yeah. simply error. Or, any, or we can prompt any other message as well. Exit 1. That is it. The case if it fails to open the file. If you recall, if we open this file in write mode, for example, if we open this file in R mode, and in that case, if file does not exist, if file does not exist, this R, w mode, in R mode, it first of all, it creates the file then loads it into the main memory, copy it into the main memory. But in case of R plus mode, it does not create a file, new file. R plus mode does not create a new file. It only loads the existing file into the main memory. It only opens the existing file. R plus mode, R plus mode. And then we can write something on that file as well. So if PTR equal to button null, that means if it has not loaded the um, this, uh, contents of this file, copy of this file successfully into the main memory, then it will print us error and exit. But if it successfully opens that file, loads the contents of this file into the main memory, then we can perform new operation on uh, this file. <coughs> so we can say in order to write something, first of all we will say write, read, in order to read something. We know that in order to read the contents of the file, we use the we use the functions put c, f put c, and f put s. F put c is a function which we have already discussed it in write mode. F put c is a function which is used for writing a character, single character. If we want to write a single character to the file, at that time we use the f put f c. But if we want to write a string to the file, at that time we use the app put s. So we can use any of the, in order to write something, we can use any of these uh, kind of, uh, files, either we can use app put c, we can use app put s, or we can use also app print app. We can use any of these files to write the content, uh, to write something on that file. So here, for example, first we will discuss, this is the for writing. And if we want to read contents of the files, we will, at that time we have already discussed that those files in the R mode, we can use f get c and f get s. As we know, f get c reads a single character from the file. Single character. F get c is a function which is used for reading a single character from the file and f get s is used for reading a Sitting from the file, whole sitting from the file, which we, we have already discussed in depth. For example, here we want to read the content, then we can use it simply f <coughs> get s. And simply, what, what we have to do, we have to pass the first the sitting name, then how many characters we want to read at a time, how many characters we want to read at a time, and then simply the pointer pt or that is it. So, by using this function, f get s, we can read the string, we can read the contents of this file. For example, if this file contains, I am reading c. So, by using this function, we can read this, how much, if, 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 I, if I want to 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many here? Here I have to specify number of characters that I want to read at a time. So by using this function, we can read. I am reading. We can read these characters from the file. Or simply, if we want to read a single character at a time, then I can simply use here F get S F get C. Sorry, F get C and uh, PTR. That is the pointer to the string. So simply, we can say we can use these files in order to read the contents from the file in R plus mode. But if we want to write something into the file, then how? How? Which function? At that time, we can use a put C function or put S function. Take care. For example, app put C Z app put C Z and then the pointer name that is PT R. By using this function, we can append, we can, sorry, not append, we can modify Z. That, that means we can write Z into the file. But the question is why? At what position the Z will get? At F put Z. The question is why this Z will, will be in the modified file? For example, put C Z P T R. Obviously, this Z will be here. I I have been get erased and Z will get modified here written here. So we know that this Z at the beginning by default we we could we can write into the file by using this R plus mode. If we open the file in R plus mode and use this file F put C, we can we can write their contents. We can write something at the beginning of the file. At the beginning of the file. So here previously it was or I. I have been I get erased, I get overwritten by this Z. Now their new content is their Z. So we now know that this in R plus mode we can only modify the contents of the file. We cannot uh, we cannot by using this Z we can only modify the contents of the file. So in R plus mode if we if we perform the writing operation we know that R plus mode we can read as well as write in the file. But the, here the writing means to modify the file. We can thus R plus mode is used to modify the file. For example, now I want to F put S by using this string. For example, Y O U S U F and <coughs> PDR. For example, now why are this used to feel get written here? Here, here only. A, A will get it is Y, M for O, R for U, E for S, A for U, and D for F. So the new content is going to be Z used to Y, C. So we, we know that the whole sentence are not that visible. If we if we use the if we open the file in W mode at that time the the contents of the file that is overwritten. But here only the file the contents of the, the file that is modified. So by using the, by opening the file in R plus mode we can modify the contents of the file. But if we open the file in W mode at that time the previous contents is getting the previous file all the contents of the previous file that is overwritten. If we write anything, for example, if we um, if we uh, open this in W mode only, what will happen? This all will get erased and the other will be on the use. But if we open it in R plus mode, only the contents of the, the file get is modified. There is a main difference between the R plus mode and W mode. First one. In R plus mode, we can modify the contents of the file if we open the file in R plus mode. But if we open the file in R W mode, we cannot modify. But with the previous contents which were which were already present in the file get is overwritten. They that get is erased. That get is deleted, and uh, there exists on the new contents. Second case, if we open the file in W mode, 
if file does not exist in the hard disk, so first it will create the file and then will load the copy of that file into main memory where you can perform a new operation. But if we open that file in an R plus mode, if file does not exist in the hard disk, it will not create a new file. It will just show us an error. This is the main difference between the R plus and W mode. I hope now that you have understood what is R plus mode. As I have told you that R plus mode can be used for both reading and writing in the file. If you want to read as well as write in the file, at that time we can open that file in the R plus mode. But if we want to only write something to the file, not want to read from the file at the same time, at that time we can open it in the W mode. Okay. Now, these are the functions which are used, which we have already discussed in the previous video. Now, if we want, for example, here we have only two, we can write, either we can write a character to a file, we are, we can write a whole section to the file, and we have only, what we have to do, we have only to set the pointer from where we want to modify. For example, this is my file, I am reading C. I, for example, I want to modify from here. Not from at the beginning, but at, by default, it, mod it starts modifying from the beginning. But I, I want to modify this file from here. So, at that time, what I have to do, I have to only set this pointer, this PTR, at this location. How to set the pointer to at a desirable location, at a required location, that will also discuss it in a separate video in coming days. Now, I hope that you have understood what are uh, what is R plus mode, W mode, R mode, and A mode? These four modes have been thoroughly discussed so far, and inshallah, in the next video we will discuss the W plus mode. That is the that will be discussed in the next video. Till next video, take care. Bye bye.